So on the panel today, which was magazine uh, writing for print and web, um, we all discussed where our career paths had taken us, you know, where we all started out. And I had started out as an editorial assistant at Red Book and Good Housekeeping, but the way I had actually even met my boss there was through a short um, kind of temp assignment that I did for Entertainment Weekly. And the way I got that was actually through my older sister's college roommate. So, you know, I think what came through today on the panel was sort of casting a wide net, definitely networking, letting everybody know that you're interested in this industry so that they can help you get your foot in the door because I think that's what we all recognize is that there's so many people who want to get in to this industry but they don't know people or they are scared to approach people and sort of the value of networking really came through. So. Um, you know, for me, after I was at Red Book and Good Housekeeping, I met, you know, obviously so many amazing editors there and got to work for them for a while. Um, and then actually one of the girls that I worked with there was the way that I got my next job, which was at YM Magazine. And so, you know, the power of networking, too, is that once you have a job, you start to meet people and you start to prove yourself to them. And then they're the ones that are going to tell you about other jobs that come up. So um, after that, I was talking about how I jumped to the web at the time, but it was during, like, the dot-com boom and the, dot, the bubble burst, and so this web job that I was supposed to get actually ended up not existing because the venture capital evaporated. So I ended up freelancing, and even though that was a scary thing to kind of get thrown into, it ended up being one of the best things for my career because it gave me a, a, um, an opportunity to see what it was like to be a writer and to be on the writing side of things and not just being an editor. Um, and so that when I was back at a magazine at Cosmo Girl as an editor, I was a much better editor to my writers because I knew what it was like to be a writer. Um, so, and then from there, you know, at Cosmo Girl, I, I got in there as deputy editor, but then I was made executive editor after a couple years and I became editor in chief about a year after that. And I got to do that job for five years, which was an amazing, amazing opportunity. Of course, um, Cosmo Girl has since folded, but, um, and I was able to work for Hearst in the meantime on these bookazines, which is a new business that they've launched, which was really exciting because I got to not just do the editorial side of things, but actually come up with the business model for it, not just myself, of course, collaborating with many smart people, um, but that was terrific. And then now I've landed at Cosmopolitan, which, you know, I never thought I would get to do a job again that I loved so much after Cosmo Girl, but God, to get to work at Cosmopolitan, I mean, who doesn't want to work there, right? So um, in my current role, I get to do so many different things, like working on Cosmopolitan.com for Cosmo Books. Um, we're working on our iPad app right now, mobile apps. We have Cosmo Radio on Sirius um, Satellite Radio, so I get to do all sorts of different things. So my day is never the same, it's never boring, it's always super exciting. So uh, I am elated that I have the career that I have. I'm, I'm a really lucky person, so I hope that all the girls that got to hear this panel today will someday get to do the kinds of fun things that I get to do in my daily life.